Springbok coach Jacques Ninaba doesn't have a lot of hair to pull out. If he did, he wouldn't be the first Springbok mentor to be subjected to this painful practice by the Wallabies. The fact that the Springboks went the previous decade with only one win in Australia speaks volumes as to how the Wallabies have made South Africa's life miserable over there. Kulisi said he understood the frustration of South African public at the team's inconsistent results this season. But he said that the team felt the same frustrations as they did when they fell their second consecutive defeat in the rugby championship this season. He's been adding input to the team. He's been um, helping, obviously, um, and making sure that we're getting ready for the game mentally and physically. Um, yeah, that's what he's been doing from, from our side. And yeah, um, and also just encouraging what he can and, and doing everything he can like he always does. Police said Jacques Nanaba and director of rugby Rassi Rasmus had been working hard behind the scenes to try and find an answer to South Africa's poor record down under. Prepared um, as well as we could. It's been tough, and we we feel you know it's it's um, it's it was a, a tough loss last week, and we, we want to be better as a team. You know, we looked at where where we can be better. We left a lot of opportunities out there on the field, and yeah, we we're hurting. You know, we're hurting. It's and we we worked as hard as we can um, to make sure that we better what we the mistakes that we made last week, and you know that we always look at ourselves first we point fingers at ourselves and where we can be better and that's what we've been doing this week it's worth remembering that among the four springbok coaches between 2011 and 2021 only one of them heine kamea came back with a win from australia malana Segan, for soweto tv sports